Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm really excited today. We're going to jump head first into motor overcurrent protection. Really excited about it. Going to break it down, hopefully demystify it. I have tons of other information about this in the free 10 week program, also in lots of other supplemental, you know, material. But this, we're going to talk about it very practically. It's going to get really granular, and I'm really excited about it. Let's get to it look at when we talk about motors and I say the word overcurrent protection I use it very loosely that could be fuses or breakers but we don't call it overcurrent protection when we're dealing with motors there's actually two types we call it short circuit ground fault protection and we call it motor overload protection now there may be many other classifications I'm dealing with what you're going to be using practically out in the field as a field electrician and then also as far as dealing with your testing all right, so let's look at these two different types. All right, so over the next few days, I'm going to be breaking it down very simple where these different types of protection are located and, you know, what they are. But first, we have to just find out what they're doing. So first, let's talk about short circuit and ground fault protection. Whether it's a breaker or a fuse, it's just providing exactly that. So in the event of a short circuit, it's going to quickly rise the current and shut it off, which is going to ultimately protect the motor. Um, you know, in that sense, and the wire and all the other components, but it's not going to do it quick enough. And we're going to talk about that as we get into overload protection. It's also going to protect it in the event of a ground fault. So if there's a ground fault, very high rush of current, it's going to protect the motor in that sense. It's going to protect the wire. It's going to protect everything in the system like it normally does in the event of a short circuit or a ground fault. But standard short circuit ground fault overcurrent protection is not going to be quick enough to protect the motor. And that's when we need overload protection when a motor's overloaded see it might be overloaded just by 10 or 15 percent raising the current higher uh, you know and wearing and wearing down the motor but it's not high enough to trip the breaker do you, do you see what I'm saying it's not high enough to trip the breaker fast enough that motor is gonna burn out before that standard overcurrent protection ever trips that's why we do separate overload protection and we size them differently as well. And we're going to talk about that the next few days. So standard short circuit ground fault protection will not protect a motor if it's overloaded. All right, now let's talk about overload protection. When our motor is just overloaded, we are actually going to have another type protection sized a little bit smaller in order to open the circuit sooner to protect the motor. And this is purely to protect the motor. The short circuit ground fault protection is going to protect the wire. The wire could handle, you know, the, you know, ampacity being higher for so long. But when we're dealing with the motor, we cannot have that motor burn up because before that breaker ever trips, you may be able to get a 20 amp breaker to hold 23 amps indefinitely, not going to harm the wire not going to harm it you know may not harm any other parts of the, the system but it could potentially burn up your motor that's why we size separate overload protection for that very situation there and we're going to learn how to size it where it's located in all the in and outs as we go on through this week i'm the electrical code coach very excited to be a part of your journey let's get to it Hey guys, before we get off here, I want to remind you that I'm here to help you every single step of the way. You can call, text, or email me anytime. You can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com, or you can call me at 423-895-9341. I'm here to help you every step of the way. I just want to see you win. Let's get to it.